yeah this, this is all three uh, linked in together which was really cool and like I said just about every one of these mini series I think there's only two I haven't read were really nicely done uh, we had a one shot Untold Tales of Blackest Night I'm not sure when that came out this has uh, Jeff Johns, Tomasi, J.T. Kroll, Ethan Van Skyver, Ivan Rice, um, Ed Beans, just great, great people. Brett Booth, a uh, lot of great artists on it. And I think Ivan Rice was the main artist on the Black Knights uh, A-issue series I just showed you because Ethan Van Skyver was working on Flash Rebirth at the same time. And this is where it crossed over into several titles. Uh, Rebels, number 10, there he is. Beryl Dox is looking at the uh, ring. Number 11, I think his ex-wife came back. It's been a while. I haven't... This this series used to be Legion, and it started like in 89, like Legion 89, Legion 90. It's been a long time, but his ex-wife ended up coming back. And like I said, they're, they're out to get the emotional reaction to help charge the ring and the batteries to bring about Necron. Uh, Justice League, America, by James Robinson, Bagley, 39 and 40. Uh, actually, yeah, th those are all right. Um, Secret Six, awesome. Gail Simone comes in there, number 18. Number 17, Bronze Tiger. I can't remember if Bronze Tiger was dead or not, but I think it's Catman versus the Bronze Tiger, if I remember right. Let's go back and read this. I usually retain the stuff. Uh, surprisingly, very well done. Doom Patrol is known for dying. And an issue five, and number four. Um, if I remember right, this was when we found out, uh, who is that? Actually, his, the Chief's ex-wife came back. All the members of the Doom Patrol that's died over the years came back. And I'm trying to remember if this was the first hint that Rita Farr had actually died. And, had been, and we, you know, we find out she'd been replaced by a big chunk of gum. But I think that was in the 12 or 13. But anyway, Cele uh, Celsius comes back. A uh, whole bunch of the uh, guys from the Doom Patrol that died in the 80s come back. Moonstone... Oh, what were their names? It's been a while. This is kind of cool. I've, it's been long enough that I can go back and probably reread it. And this little bastard Booster Gold. Man, I've got more issues of Booster Gold than any man should actually have. And he just keeps sneaking in, man. And for you new guys out there, I, I loathe Booster Gold. 22 at 6, 27. And wouldn't you know it, after Jeff Johns touched on a whole great big huge uh, story in within the first, I think, last six issues of his run or something like that, Somewhere in there, you know, made peace with the Blue Beetle dying and stuff. They freaking bring them back for Blackest Night to come after Booster Gold, you know. Uh, anyway, and then they crossed over here. I was really glad to see this. They brought back uh, Alexander Luthor. He was messing. Around. He was messing with Superman Prime. Superman Prime was back on Earth Prime, which is like Superboy Prime was on Earth Prime at the end of uh, I think it was Infinite Crisis, living with his family. They were you know, on the Earth Prime, everything that they do in the DC Universe look, shows up in a comic book. You know, it's kind of like our world is what it is. And the Black Lan Black, you know, Alexander Luthor as a uh, Black Lantern comes after him, gets him involved. Number four, of course, number five. This was really well done too. I really enjoyed these. Jeff Johns actually wrote those. I skipped an issue, came back with number seven. And it was the dead Superboy fighting uh, his girlfriend, uh, Wonder Girl. And right before he died, they had slept together. So, you know, that's a big emotional response. And then we had the Outsiders, and this kind of goes back to um, the uh, or Teen Titans of George Perez and uh, Marv Wolfman with Terra coming back because Geoforce was her brother, and she had a thing going on with. Uh, with uh, Beast Boy and stuff, but I don't think this really ties. I think there's a that comes up a little bit later. So I just recently got those. Now the JSA, I, I don't know, man. I kind of thought it was kind of weak, but I need to go back and read it. And when I say weak, it's compared to the other ones. By no means is this something you shouldn't buy. But uh, it just was really like they're just kind of like throwing out all they could of all the characters that had died that had something to do with the Justice Society. But it, it was real. It was well done. We we're really well done. So there's number one. Great covers on these. Number two, Johnny Quick is back. There's his daughter, uh, Star Spangled, uh, Star Spangled Kid, who I think ends up being. She's probably Star Woman by now. You know, some All Star Squadron guys. Mister Terrific's back, and they bring back a uh, Superman back. He's got a hold of Power Girl. It's really good stuff. 
And then uh, we have a mock-up here. We had a Flash miniseries that was really good because the ring, you know, Jeff Johns and Scott Collins did this, so you know it's good when they get a hold of the Flash. But basically, this is the story about the ring getting onto him and some some things that were going on between the panels of uh, the Blackest Night. And this is a mock-up of Ethan Van Skyver's first issue of uh, Flash Rebirth. We get the Black Ring version. Scott Collins, man, he's hit or miss, but when he does it, there's number one, the variant cover. Or, uh, got that for a quarter, and it was originally 20 bucks. Yeah, who did that? Mm, I don't know, but it was really, it was a really very good series. Right, here we go. About panic. I was sitting here bragging. Yeah, we got the variant cover for... Yeah, that's probably the variant cover. Here's number two, number three... Uh, it kind of focuses on the rogues and all the rogues that have died over the years. The you know the top and um, my goodness, Captain, the original Captain Boomerang, the original um, Trickster, was that his name? Prankster, Trickster. I can say here that his name was James Jesse. I'm I'm remembering everything but his name. You know, so this was really cool to come on. And you see the rogues get into it. There's number three where uh, this one we see Blue Lantern Flash, so we get to see a little bit more. Of what goes on between the panels. Here's number three, the variant cover. Then we get into the Wonder Woman, and this was really good because each issue takes place during a different time of uh, the Blackest Night, and it's just so well done. Like, uh, um, if you see what happens to Wonder Woman in a panel or two, you come here and it expands on it. And Greg Rucka, every issue was very well done. And the art was by Nikolai Scott, who is now doing um, Earth 2 with James Robinson, who's leaving the book on in the new 52. And just a fantastic issue. So if there's any uh, Nikolai Scott fans, any Australian fans who need a little, you know, uh, have their own little superstar there, this is it, Nikolai Scott. And that's a variant cover. You got that for a quarter, it's 20 bucks. Here's the regular cover of number one. Great stuff. Number two, this is where uh, the Black Ring uh, got a hold of her and Mira shows up to take her down. And when you look in the regular miniseries of Blackest Night, you kind of see them fighting in the background. And there's Necron's hand, there's like, you know, his little marionettes. There's the variant cover. And then number three, I have two of these. I had this one, and our good buddy Why Not Art uh, sent me another one there. And this is great. It's, a, it's where she becomes the Star Sapphire, if you remember the covers and stuff like that. She uh, gains the ring, and you see her adventures like that. Now, here's a series I haven't read because I was uh, waiting to get them all before I even touched them. This is the three-issue Blackest Night miniseries of uh, Batman. And you got to remember, this is Dick Grayson Batman dealing with stuff from The Blackest Night. And it's done by Peter Tomasi and uh, a Ardian Seif. I don't know. Uh, really glad to finally get that. I need a number two. And that's a cool cover when you consider that those are all the uh, Robins except for the Red Hood. You know. And you see all around them things are coming back and monsters coming after them. There's blasting away. Uh, and I looked up. I got a... Uh, a variant cover. This was 20 bucks. And where it's a Batman and a variant cover, I'd say this is the one up to sale. You see Red Robin and Damien. Uh, kind of a circus cover. And here's the regular number three cover with the Addy, uh, Andy Kubert um, cover, but he didn't do the insides. John and Mary Grayson's, apparently his parents come back. The Flying Grayson's come back to get a hold of him. This was excellent. This is a James Robinson three-issue miniseries uh, for Black Knight of Superman. And this is just wonderful, man. This this reads, he took Smallville. He didn't change anything, but the way the uh, the arrangements of the panels are and kind of gave it a widescreen feel for certain panels. And it felt like you were seeing some old 50s horror movie or B-movie, man. It's like scanning the small town and the zombie comes back. And this is where we get uh, the Superman that... Uh, was he the Superman of Earth 2? It's a Superman that survived the crisis on the infinite Earth. Let's put it that way. He died in Infinite Crisis, and this is him coming back, and he's just raising hell in Smallville, you know. And then our Superman and Superboy end up showing up. Psycho Pirate shows up. This is a variant cover. And James Robinson just did an outstanding job with this series. Really enjoyed this one. Uh, was that the variant cover? 
yeah that's the variant cover sold for 20 bucks there's the regular cover and apparently I got another variant cover well what do you know yeah that's variant cover for number three uh, the regular number three and the regular number two that's what it is so apparently do I have all the variants I don't know, number one and then we go back into the regular issues of comics that were going on back then. This was, uh, recently got these. This was, uh, Superman, Batman. Okay, that was going on for a while there. But this one actually becomes a Bizarro and Man Bat fighting a Solomon Grundy with a black ring. So if you look at real close at that. So that was really fun. And Scott Collins wrote and drew this. I read it. It's actually really, really well done. Uh, the Teen Titans. Uh, even more Teen Titans so 78 77 looks like they got a little mixed up yeah they got mixed up apparently I got all my Titans together here so here's another mini series this is number one I think this is the variant cover this is a little bit more where we deal with uh, Terra and uh, her effect with the Titans Let me get all these in order so you know it comes back in in uh, I think it deals more with the original Titans, which is why it's not called the Teen Titans. So there's Terra back. I think that is the variant cover. There's a regular cover number two where her baby comes back. Donna Troy did have a baby. And I'm not going to get into that. Two copies of that. I think why not Art sent me that one. And number three uh, where we have a Hawk come back and taking out the female Hawk. So that was actually good. There's the regular issue. And then we get into the Green Lantern issues and the Green Lantern Corps, uh, the main title. Um, hopefully, this, this is a prelude to Blackest Night. I got, I just, I just went, ahead, I was collect, I collect the series anyway. So there's number 41. Um, if you can't see, that's supposed to be Lar Freeze on the cover, with the Guardians coming after him. Uh, number 40. And then here we go, a prologue number 43, where we get Black Hand. And as you can see, he's over Bruce Wayne's grave. Here's 42. Black is another prelude. And full swing. I think it's the Martian Manhunter that they're fighting. He's got a black ring on him. If I remember right. Okay, 45. Everybody's starting to get into it. 46. Uh, variant to number 46. Yep. Abin Sur returns as the Black Lantern. Uh, he was Sinestro's best friend and he was the guy that uh, gave Hall the ring right before he died. Uh, variant cover to number 47. I love this cover. The Indigo Tribe gets involved. Uh, variant cover to number 48. These were just beautiful covers. I mean, they're not doing justice. When you're actually sitting here and looking at them, they're just very, this one's very peaceful when you look at it. Well done. Regular number 48. Bring in the Blue Lanterns. Variant cover to number, variant cover to number 49. Um, John Stewart was a Marine, so he's always doing the sniper thing. Uh, regular issue to 49. This is where the planet, I think, that blew up all the, you know, the billions of people lived on the planet are after him. Number 50, Hall Jordan turns back into Parall Parallax, comes back in a rebirth. I mean, they pull out all the stops. Number 51. Like I said, these all tie in beautifully. That's everybody going after Hall Jordan after he lets Parallax get him. And then we find out that he, that Sinestro is going to be the White Lantern. That was a subplot going on. This White Lantern just, you know, I'm not going to get into it. Because I may remember it wrong. And this is, and then we're about done, folks. We get into uh, the prelude issues. I don't have all of these, but I'm not going to track them down because I've read them and it's not a big deal. Number 33, 34, Mongol uh, tries, you know, he takes over Sinestro's um, yellow core. 35. Kind of just setting up Sinestro to kind of take over to see how he's been redeemed. 37. And then here we go. Bam. The black rings are just scattering everywhere. 39. 
40. We got Guy Gardner and all the favorites. Kyle Rayner. Here's a uh, variant cover to 41. Variant cover to 42. These are beautiful painted covers. All that up. Here's a variant cover to number 43. Which is just amazing. And these and these Green Lantern Core issues are really underrated. This is this was actually Peter Tomasi writes a hell of a series. It's another variant cover. I got this for all these for a quarter. I was selling for originally twenty bucks. A uh, regular cover. Uh, Guy Gardner gets possessed by the uh, Red Lantern Ring of Rage. Brian Bolin. Is that a Brian Bolin? I think it's a Brian Bolin cover. Beautiful Brian Bolin cover of uh, Kyle Rayner. Regular issue 45. Guy and Kyle going at it. Yes, he made a chainsaw. Uh, in 46, Ice comes back. And she plays a big part, actually. And she's a Black Lantern, but if I remember right, she played a big part of uh, bringing Guy back. Then what they did... Because what I loved is that, like I said, the whole series was about bringing the dead back to life. Bringing back the dead. And what they did is, the, and then, so for crossovers, where all these characters are dead, they brought back dead series. Canceled series. And they gave them the same number and as if it continued. So here's Suicide Squad. The original, well not the original, but the Suicide Squad from the 1980s. They came back. It got canceled with 66, so... They bring it back with 67. And there's, and if you read Suicide Squad, you know there was a ton of people. And that led into a Secret Six issue. That's what I'm saying. These actually tied into the story very well. You read this, then you go into the Secret Six issues I showed a little while ago. Starman ended in 80. Issue 19, uh, issue 80. And they brought it back with 81. And just to let you know, guys know, Jack Knight does not return in this. You know, uh, Weird Western Tales number 70. One, it ended with issue 70, and then Didio wrote it. So, whatever you think, question ended with uh, issue 37, and with issue 36, and they brought back with issue 37. As you can see, it looks like she's meeting. Looks like he's meeting the new question or something. It's been a while since I read these. This is the one I was excited about. This is fantastic. Jeff Johns and Ryan Sook. Ryan Sook is a fantastic artist. In the 60s, they had the Adam and Hawkman series. And apparently they ended at 45, and they brought this back with number 46. This was fantastic, and just great. For you, uh, big shout out to the great legend there, the big fan of Stranger Fan. Back in the 60s, late 60s and 70s, I want to say it was just the 70s. We had a Phantom Stranger book, and it ended at 41. It just picks right up with issue 42. Peter Tomasi, so it's really good. Um, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, number 30. A mock-up of a famous Neil Adams cover, and they brought Catwoman got was uh, canceled back then, and with 82, and they brought it back for issue 83. And then look, just to let you appreciate the cover, big zombie getting ready to get a hold of her, and the power of Shazam, Jerry Ordway's classic, uh, got it canceled with issue 47. Wouldn't even let it hit 50, and uh, they brought it back for this one issue. And that is, I'm trying to think, oh, Os, 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 Osiris, 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 uh, he died in uh, 52, I believe, and they bring him back. He was eaten by his uh, magical talking uh, crocodile. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for hanging in there. Maybe I can get some sleep now.